guys, how's it going? I figured uh, I got a couple comments in my last video I made about Tiny Media Manager. Um, a couple of people were wondering if it's possible to automate the Tiny Media Manager process, such as when a download completes, that it auto scrapes and auto renames your files for you without having to open the program. And some users were having issues with the program, so I kind of wanted to show you. A little bit about the command prompt operation that it's able to intake so what we're gonna do is we're going to start off by going to wherever your tiny media manager is installed at so the installation folder I have mine just sitting on my external drive under TMM yours can be maybe in program files wherever you put it really so if you want, if you're not sure where it is, just right click on your icon and hit open file location. It'll take you right to it. So once we're in this folder, you're going to see a file called tiny media manager cmd.exe. That is basically what we're going to be running with. So we don't need to open that right now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by right clicking in this folder and hitting new. And we're going to do text document name it something like new file scan we're gonna open it up double click it it's gonna open in notepad and from here I actually have this already typed up so I'm just going to copy and paste it but what you're going to type is this so you're going to put start and then the location of that tiny media manager cmd.exe file, wherever that may be located, if it's in your C drive, go ahead and point it to that folder and then make sure that the first T in tiny is lowercase and then media manager is capitalized and then CMD is all caps. And then you're going to type space slash update space slash scrape new with a capital N space rename. Now what that's going to do is update all of your data sources. There is an option as well to just update specifics, either movies or just TV shows, which would cut the update process probably in half. It does take a minute to update because it's scraping all of your folders and any of them that you've already had it point to. So for me, I have a lot of media, so it does take a minute to scan, but it's not the biggest deal to me. It's just if you would like it personally, um, then you're able to do that. So to do that, that is actually, if you go ahead and open up command prompt and you navigate to the folder and you start the tiny media manager CMD, it will show you all of the um, exit or all of the, what do I call it? All the features that you're able to use it for. So then it'll actually tell you what you would type for to get the movies just updated or just the TV shows updated. Okay, so with that typed in, you're going to hit File, Save As, and we're going to have that new file scan.txt, but we're going to click this drop down here and we're going to hit All Files and we're going to change the .txt to .bat and we're going to hit Save. Now you can close this out. This is my old one. Close that out. And now in your folder, you're going to see, where is it now? Uh, let's see. And, okay. New file scan dot bat. By the way, you can just delete. If you still have the text file, you can delete the text file. You don't need that. So here's our new file bat. So what this is going to do is this is going to launch and scrape everything for you, but in order to get it automated, completely automated, you're going to right click it, send to, and we're gonna put desktop create shortcut. So now you're gonna see a shortcut has appeared on my desktop for the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. We don't need that folder for right now. What you're gonna do is right click on this, properties. In the properties section, we're gonna hit advanced. And we want to run as administrator. Now what this is going to do is prevent any issues with permissions as far as scraping and renaming files. So now we can hit apply and OK. So with this set up, that is good to go. So from here, 
whatever you whatever torrent program you're going to be using if you are downloading torrents i'm not going to assume anything but i'm probably you're more than likely going to be using a torrent program so i'm going to open up my uTorrent and this is where it's going to get different for other users with different programs but i'm assuming you should have this capability so i'm going to go into options and i'm going to hit preferences and I'm going to go down to the advanced tab and I'm going to hit this plus. This was a plus originally. I'm going to hit plus and then I'm going to hit run program. And now I'm going to navigate to that desktop shortcut that we created. And I'm going to select it. So what that does is it means it's going to run that shortcuts of that batch file that we created automatically scanning for you um, as soon as the download completes essentially automating the process, scanning and renaming and scraping any new file that comes in. So make sure you select your new file scan, hit open. And now we see run this program when a torrent finishes, there you go. So now when your torrent finishes, it will go ahead and automatically rename everything and scrape it. So that's all set up to go. Let's see, I can screw up one of my file types um, just so you can see how the auto scrape works. If you guys don't want to watch, this would be the end of the video. There's no more steps. Enjoy your day. Otherwise, I will just give you a quick demonstration of how it works. So I'm just going to pick a random episode. I'm going to screw up the name. <clears throat> this three yes this is three all right so that file's all messed up now and i'm even going to delete the pictures that came with it the thumbnails and whatnot just so we can see it repopulate so that was three okay so three gone 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 no more files, right? So three is basically just this video file now. That's all I have in there is just the terribly named Family Guy Season 8 Episode 3. So if I run our shortcut now, you're going to see a command prompt window open up. And this is going to give you the output. Now, if you would like this window to not appear and you just like it to run in the background, in your text file, you're going to type the letters, the at symbol, echo, ECHO space OFF before the text. And that will make it so the command prompt window does not come up. So again, I'll type that down here just so you can see. So it would be at echo off. And then it would say start and, you know, C drive, etc. That would be how it would start off if you don't want the command prompt window to open up. I like to be able to see it, to see the output, just in case if there are any issues or errors. But you're going to see in real time, on my right-hand side in the window, you're going to see that file get renamed. And all of the, uh, the info file is going to be written automatically. There's going to be the JPEGs that populate automatically, and it's going to rename itself automatically. So we just got to wait. I do have a large library, so it takes a minute. As we can see, we have an info file that just populated, and down below that is going to be the images. And it looks like it has already put it in the correct place. The command prompt window was closed. So let's go ahead and check it out and make sure it renamed it correctly. And there we see Season 8, Episode 3. Got the JPEG right there and the info file. Never had to open up Tiny Media Manager. It's not open anywhere nothing that's it that's how you run it from command prompt and that's how you automate it completely all right guys if you like this video please leave a like subscribe i will be doing some more here in a little bit have a good one